Salut les gens. Good afternoon everyone. I would like to start my talk by versing one verse from Bhagavad Gita. Vukeshu Dvigya Manaha Sukeshu Dvigya Spurva Vita Raga Vaya Krodaha Sita Dhiru Mughe Bruchati Shoka Yoga Adhyay Dhusra Slok Chaparma Second Chapter Verse 36 Adhat Jishmanushi Ke Liye Sukh Aur Dukh Samana Vastha Jishthir Buddhi Vara Hai Na Vahi Siddha Purush Hai Na what is the meaning? A person who controls his emotion amidst of love, happiness, sad, anxiety is considered to be a sage. Humanity at crisis. Humanity is abandoned. Humanity is shackled by the bounds of this big ideology called capitalism and imperialism. I was raised in a Hindu Orthodox Brahmin family. My mother would tell me daily, Son, respect your Guru. Respect your elders. Respect your father. Respect your mother. Respect the society. You are always in debt to the society. You are always in debt to the community. And I wonder, is the community in debt to me? Will the community ever be in debt to me? In this journey of finding that community is in debt to me, I was thrown into this exhilarating, adrenaline rushing, this overrated course called engineering. I was thrown into the first year, and the first thing I get is I came across this thing called class representative. Class representative? I would say the slave. Right? <laughs> A slave of a class. So, I was so fantasized by this girl and I wanted to be a class representative. Simple enough. So there's a guy who called Stanley Pudding who scrutinized me each and every topic. So that guy thought, well, this is one more moment to bully him. Come on. He contested against me and I must tell you, I'm miserably failed. I, I failed in a contest where I was loved by so many and I loved many and still I lost. I forget it. I became, we both became good friends. I forget it. I don't care about the information I got. So, something somehow that stuck in my brain. So, in the second year, I was thrown into this adrenaline rushing second, third and fourth years. I was asked to remember the uh, threshold voltage, the frequency, the wavelength, what is value, what is transistor. I was, I was, I was hearing this popping of figures, 8 lakhs per annum, 12 lakhs per annum, 13 lakhs per annum. I was also in a, uh, in a mood. I thought that I was finally into the engineering. Then I entered one of the most biggest events in a Sun Engineering College, which is Stream Only. SR institutions, modern design nation, blah, blah, blah. It's a great one. Okay. So, what do you do in stream work? You have a bunch of people talking about a situation, talking about a topic, and at the end of the third day, you'll be having a resolution. What is that? You discuss three days and you give brilliant speeches, and what do you come up with? Set of solutions. Simple enough? So, I wrote a set of solutions, and I was the winner of that council. I got a staggering number of 98 votes in one 10 delegates. And I won the competition and I, and I was declared the first delegate of that competition. What do you think? It's not about winning and losing. It's about winning at the right point. I thought, yes, the community is always in debt. The community will always pay the debt to you. So, what is humanity? A deceptively simple question, and yet it is the key to understand the relativity of this whole world. Humanity is buying everything. Humanity is buying happiness to sadness. It is buying babies. It is buying parents. Humanity is buying crude oil to diesel generators. Humanity is buying pieces of land. Humanity is buying wars. 
humanity is buying everything and human beings are buying. These developed homo sapiens as we have achieved that the greater homo sapiens as we are called, we thought that humanity is achieved by peaceful and violent wars. And we in this generation, we fight violent wars for peace. So, what is humanity? What is sin? What is? I am a brother. I don't need knowledge. That's a sin for me. What is sin? How do you describe a sin? What is sin? Sin varies from person to person. And what is humanity? And I'm not Thanos. I'm not Thanos. I don't have an infinity gauntlet. I don't have an infinity show. I, I wouldn't just snap my fingers and I would tell, yes, the humanity is restored in this world. No, I wouldn't let you believe in that false thing. Humanity is not achieved in a snap. Humanity is never achieved in a snap. Nothing is achieved in a snap except the Thanos. Thanos has the power to achieve in a snap. So, I won't say that you can achieve a humanity. I won't say that you can achieve a human. You can achieve a humanity. I would say that it starts from you. Go home. Talk to your parents. Uh, tell them who you are. If you are an addict, if you are a drunkard, if you are a smoker, talk to them. Humanity achieves. Humanity is achieved when you lose the war within yourself. There are always the warriors, right? are always the warriors, constant warriors, right from the birth to the death. So, what is humanity? A deceptively simple question. And yet, it is the key to understand that relativity. So now, we know, we all said our things. You said our things. You said your things. I said my things. We better love back at home. We better love to everyone in our homes. So, for this humanity is too. It starts with you. It start, I wouldn't say you may know what WHO means humanity. And if you search humanity in Google, it says a quality of being kind and compassion. Lol. Quality of being compassion? Right. I think that's good Latin in our country. Yeah, well, right. Sorry. So, I'm not saying you to go and sacrifice your life in a war. I'm not saying you to go to a Gulf War, you know, war happening in Palestine, Israel, and Palestine is, you know, the war and serious war and ISIS war. I'm not saying you to participate in that. I'm saying humanity, you can see humanity in each and every point of your life. So, what is humanity? A deceptively small question, and yet it is an understanding to the relationship and relatability of this world. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.